You know, because everybody gets the go. cool screen grab yes. of, the, uh, of the Zoom meetings with the cool people, and this is a great moment. Actually, Eddie, it's crazy because literally just there the other we go. day, I was watching <laughs> um, the uh, Michael Jackson Dangerous uh, Bucharest show. Yeah. Uh, and you, and I'm like, that's Eddie's on this, I'm pretty sure. And then there you were, and like there was even some backstage stuff, and they were like, you, you just had shorter hair and like a goatee in that. So, yeah, yeah. That was. That was that's like one of the best show, like one of the best concerts you'll see, like on all of YouTube, like live vi concert videos. Yeah, he, you know, he was insane live. Like it was crazy because like we would get breaks during you know parts of the show where we weren't doing stuff. So we you would change costumes and then you could sit on the side of the stage and he would do something that would just blow your mind and you'd just be like, what is happening right now? Just to see his, he really had. It was funny, shy in person, but in front of an audience that's where he felt his power. Like that's where he, he knew how to work the audience. Like he was very aware of that. Well, and that audience was like the craziest concert crowd I've ever seen. Like people are like passing out, they're head banging, they're like crying. <laughs> <laughs> There's the crowd surfing, like security is just like pulling people away. Like it looks yeah. like they've died in the crowd. Like, I mean, just incredible that it was, was, crazy. Yeah. was that the second, was that the first or second tour you, you did with Michael? That was the second one. I did the bad tour also. In the bad tour, though, I look way crazier because I had like a big, huge mohawk and crazy makeup. And, and yeah, I looked like something out of Mad Max. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, we, we were, and, and, you know, we saw you, of course, as Johnny Dakota, and we we've, are covering that episode currently. And you, you sort of had like a mix between that because like your, your hair was like a little shorter, but still had kind of a bob going on there. And yeah. you should have kept yeah. that. Why, did, why didn't you keep that, that look? You yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think like I think through the ages I've just kind of like there was a minute where I had like hair down here like I just oh, kind of yeah it was crazy I looked like it, my mom you know rest her soul she was like you need to cut your hair <laughs> <laughs> I was like I thought you liked it long and she's like no it's gotta go <laughs> since we're talking about it now I'm not a big fan <laughs> <laughs> oh no I know right I was well, like no I gotta cut I cut it just before my wedding yeah, <laughs> good call. But, well, we, we've, uh, you know, about a year ago, we talked uh, in depth about the episode. So, you know, we, we don't have to revisit everything. But, you know, as, uh, you know, as we kind of delve back into it here, you know, you, you come on there and we, we had talked about it before, but you were not the original Johnny Dakota. They had another guy and Peter Engel said he looks like a serial killer. So we need someone else. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, about midweek, um, they, uh, they, asked tiffany they were like hey do you think eddie would be able to jump in and do this just because they hadn't they didn't know what to do they, they they didn't have enough time to really put another casting session together and i used to have a saturday morning just before theirs uh, tv show called guys next door so they they reached out to me through her and and yeah i came in on a wednesday and we shot it on a friday it was crazy yeah, one of the most memorable episodes uh, of the entire series. Everybody, even if it's, a, we were talking about it as we were breaking down the episode, like even if you don't know Say by the Bell, you don't know the characters, like you know some of the lingo from the show. You know No Hope with Dope. You know Johnny Dakota. It's kind of one of those episodes that like lives on way past just the initial relevance of the show. And you're a part of that, Eddie. It's pretty uh, awesome. Yeah, it's, it's pretty funny. You know, um, like I, I go to a local pub and one of the bartenders was like, hey, wait a minute, I have to ask you something. He goes, were you, were you on Saved by the Bell? And I was like, what? How do you know that? <laughs> and he's like, dude, you're Johnny Dakota. You're my hero. And I was like, oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> well, I can't come here anymore. <laughs> <laughs> well, you can't go anywhere now anyway, so uh, it True. doesn't matter, right? <laughs> dude, but it's one of the weirdest thing ever, like crazy. It's it's insane i'm teaching um i teach dance classes and we've been doing everything like on zoom you know? yeah i can't i can't even imagine like you know we, we, we i check in with the kids all the time just because it's just, it's a strange time it's very different you know when you teach that to to your students do you, i mean how much do you hearken back on your days with michael because i remember the one thing that michael jackson always said that like stuck with me is he wanted his dancers to be like an extension of him is that is that something that like you kind of he, he reiterate? To, yeah, you know what he so like Michael's philosophy philosophy was when you get on stage, go out there and hurt them. <laughs> and I was like, <laughs> oh, okay. 
<laughs> and he meant like, like really hit them with everything you have. Don't hold back. And he goes, you know, because they're going to appreciate your energy and they're going to match it and they're going to send it back to you. And so like, I'm always trying to let my students know, like, you know, it's not always about the perfection in dance. You know, it's a, it's a, it's about the, the inner part of dance too, the soul of the dance and the soul is going to be something that makes the dance even more special and makes it something that people want to connect to. You know, it's like, I have a friend and he's a trucker and, and I'll show him dance sequences and the stuff he connects with, you know, is he goes, Oh, that was really cool. It's usually the stuff that's really felt, you know, and then the yeah. stuff that's just movement, he doesn't like at all. Like I can appreciate the movement and he goes, I don't get it. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's an interesting way to gauge things, you know, I'm cause again, you know, it, I'm always, I'm a big person about like, you know, like I run, I run a summer camp, which we don't know if it's going to happen this year. We'll see. Yeah. Um, but my way of, of, of trying to reconnect with kids was it's like, I got to get you out of the house. You got to get out of your studios. You got to get in nature and you got to understand like, this is like breathe real air and, and be around stuff that's outside of your phone, you know? Yeah. <laughs> You yeah know? but now it's weird because now we're having to connect through through zoom you know it's like and they're all experts they change their screen backgrounds they type in <laughs> i was like you're typing in during class what are you doing and they're like eight they're like um i just wanted to say that i really think your background's pretty cool i was like all right that's cool thanks <laughs> like, <laughs> like in the middle of the class or you know you'll have one and they'll be sitting there and they're like this and you're like wait no no we're doing warm-up and they're like oh and, you know, and then they start to, <laughs> it's the little ones are pretty funny because I'll watch them and they do weird things, you know, or like their pets will come in and they're, and they're like, you know, or their like little sister or little brother will come running by and start doing dances and then they're off, you know, so it's been entertaining for me that way. But um, I really do look forward to the day that we can all get back together. Yeah, uh, that that's definitely the, the the big deal for us too. That we do, I mean, we cover sports, and we're always at football games, and we definitely need that to all to come back at some point. Concerts and touring, a big thing of what we do. We we need that back. Um, so as it is now, though, the, the we were able to crank out a lot of interviews, and people are actually Eddie. They're excited to talk to us. They're like, "Yes, this will break my day up a little bit. I'll be able to talk about." about something and uh, you know get away from watching ozark on netflix or whatever All right people are doing <laughs> or tiger king everybody yes. watches tiger king <laughs> I, I was like what is this oh wow okay and i know it's weird i have friends that worked for britney spears mm -hmm. and one of the guys in tiger king did had the snake that she used in in oh wow yeah yeah and i was like Okay, that's weird. He and they put up pictures. And they're like, "Look, it's that dude." And I was like, "No way! It's so <laughs> weird." <laughs> I haven't got Noah. I don't think you have. We haven't gotten to Tiger King yet, just because we wanted to wait till the initial insanity died down. Maybe. That's yeah, it's. it's <laughs> yeah, in every episode, I was like, "Wait, what?" <laughs> well, Keep, keep in mind, Eddie, we spent the last year um, in, in a dungeon watching Saved by the Bell. So it's taken us this long. <laughs> it's taken us this long just to get to No Hope with Dope, which is in season three. So um, yeah, I haven't bathed or showered in a year. And um, it, it's just good to reconnect with you because now, you know, we're, we're trying to actually put, we're giving us time to push through with all of this. So thank God for that. Um, and, and you as Johnny, so as we kind of get back to the episode just a little bit, like this episode was so important and it had such a strong anti-drug sentiment, obviously. Um, when you look at it, like Johnny's character was someone that obviously like he was kind of out for himself. Like he was doing a lot of this to, for self-gratification. When you were kind of trying to get into this, I know it was a quick turnaround for you, quick table read, quick hire, in and out. But what, what, what were you kind of trying to find in Johnny Dakota, the character? Well, it, at the time, I mean, they were straight up. They go, you know, hey, this is loosely based on the two quarries. And I was like, okay, got it. <laughs> you know, and because uh, Haim and Feldman were so big at the time, and uh, they unfortunately went down, you know, and got into a bunch of drugs, and, and they were doing PSAs that were anti-drug 
PSAs, but they were high. And like, it's crazy, you know, you don't, but I understand now, like, you know, a lot of these kids had so much pressure put on them, you know, and so, so many things. So I think like, like m back then, I think my biggest concern was just remember your lines and just get through this. You know, I, I, I knew that I knew I was going to be the Corys, you know, and I knew I had met Feldman because of Michael a few times. Yeah. Um, I worked with Feldman and Haim on, uh, they had did a, a video and, um, it was for license to drive, I think, or, or no, 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 the, uh, the dream one. Dream a little dream. Yes, yeah. that one. And um, I, I don't know who I knew, but someone was working on the video. So I came to the set and, um, and I guess at that time they were, they were just, you know, Haim was really, really sweet. Like he was a really nice guy. Feldman was a little more to himself, even though I met him through Michael, he was a little more like, he didn't really, w wasn't a social at the time. But um, I, I, I thought Haim was really sweet. So it broke my heart to see him really, you know, to, to see him pass away and from the abuse that had happened before. So, and now like, like it's weird. I watched Feldman's documentary about things that happened to them mm -hmm. and if I had known that, like now, it, like from an actor's point of view, I mean, that's the stuff that you dig into. You have to know what's behind it. You know, why, why, why are you abusing? I mean, pot, you know, it was an easy drug for them to do because it's not the, at the time they, it was the gateway drug, you yeah. know, but, but, <laughs> but they were like, they didn't want to go too, too heavy. You know, they didn't want to go into too, something too crazy. It's like the caffeine pills. Like, you know, that was yes. like, Hey, let's use caffeine pills. <laughs> um, but it, you know, I think, I think, from an actor's point of view, you always want to understand why someone does something, and then and then you can put some reality into it. I, but I honestly, at the time, I really just wanted to. Get, I hadn't done our show was taped, like pre-taped stuff. We didn't do anything with an audience ever. Their show was done in front of an audience. So it was a really different experience for me. Like that was like, okay, this is like doing a play. And you got to hit your marks and you got to yeah. you know, know what's coming up next. So it was weird, weird for me in the sense that I had to shift gears where my show was like, I mean, if you messed up, it's cool. You just, you know, yeah. again, it's like with an audience, I mean, you got to like pull it together. They do two or three takes and that's it. And, and then we would film stuff and then, before without the audience just so they have a backup as johnny dakota is like a famous movie star in this basically uh, to me i always felt like this is would be the equivalent of like tom cruise walking into a high school and and this happening to these kids you're a heartthrob lisa can't talk to you kelly's obsessed with you you're dating tiffany amber Thiessen at the time but did you ever think from this that like hey like i you know i played this role of like a you know a giant hollywood star like did you ever think that maybe this would kind of maybe catapult you more into other uh, to film and TV and stuff, or were you kind of content with what uh, you were doing? You know, I, it, it was weird. I, I'm kind of at the time, you know, it was cool doing TV, but I, I kind of got burnt out a little bit on that too. And I, I got more into the dance part of me was, was more of where I could express myself and I really felt um, my strength, you know, I, I was an okay actor. I wasn't, horrible but you know i wasn't the best you know i think i think with time and experience you get better at any of those things you know it's just it just takes practice and it just takes you willing to give yourself over to whatever you're doing um the dance side of it for me it, it not necessarily came easier but it was the thing that excited me more so like i just decided to kind of take a step back and pursue that well, I tell you what. While while we got you here, now we're we got we got it on video now, so it's even better. We um, realized last time we didn't get the infamous scene between Zach and Johnny Dakota. Um, we are going to reprise that now. This is just an <laughs> amazing treat for everyone. I can't even imagine. I'm just going to sort of play intermediary. Now, Eddie, I thought you had these lines memorized. It's only been. 26 years oh my gosh no i can't remember what's left and right now i mean geez um 
we actually did have someone that I think remembered all their lines and just like did it right on the spot. One of the actors that was uh, in one, maybe just one episode. It's kind of crazy, but so, and then I, 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 <laughs> I, I was listening back and I was like, Oh, okay. That's how I did it. All right. <laughs> I, I am certainly no Zach Morris. So Noah is going to go ahead and play the part of Zach here. He has got yeah. way, more, Mar, way more Mark Parr Gosler in him. So I'm going to, I'm just going to let this all happen and I'll go ahead and call scene. Johnny, shooting this commercial just doesn't seem right after what happened last night. Yeah, it was a great party, wasn't it? Come on, Johnny, you know what I mean. Oh, come on. Give me a break. It was just a little pot. How can you smoke pot last night and tell these kids not to do it today? Look, what I do at home is my business. Come on, buddy. Lighten up. Man, I thought you were real cool. And a million other kids still do, but you know what? We were wrong. What do you want from me? Don't do this commercial. Forget it, friend. No, I'm not your friend. Scene. And scene. <laughs> yes! <laughs> My wife's cracking up right now. <laughs> what? <laughs> My wife's cracking up. She's like... <laughs> <laughs> Wow, well, we, we were able to provide, inadvertently provide her with an, a lifetime of entertainment. She'll never forget that, I'm sure. Oh, yeah. That That's amazing. Cool, yeah. <laughs> wow. I'm so glad we waited a year to do that. It, 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 we had a year of just built up, a, a build up and, and, and pent up, just unabashed celebration of the show to, to bring about. So that was yeah, amazing. Are you guys excited about the Saved by the Bell reboot? I'm a little, I'm a little, it seems to me like these reboots kind of follow this formula, which is get a few actors from the original show, insert some Disney Channel kids and, and try to you know, <laughs> formulate something out of it. I'm, I'm a little concerned about it. To be honest, I mean, do they ever call you? Where's Johnny Dakota in this? Uh, you know, I can't really talk about it. You know, there, there may be something that happens, but I can't really say anything right now. That's, that's all we needed right there. That is breaking yeah. news. And we're going <laughs> to, we're going to take every bit of that headline and ship it to TMZ right here. Yeah. You know, it was funny. It's just like, I really, honestly, I don't know. I know that there's stuff that was going on, but that's basically, it got left off because then all of this craziness with the pandemic yeah. happened. So it was like Hollywood shut down, like totally shut down. Yeah. That's maybe, crazy. Maybe you'll come to the school and show them some old Johnny Dakota film, Skateboard High, maybe, Freeway Warrior. Can you imagine? And I'm, I'm like a rehab person. I'm like, hey, what's up, man? <laughs> Dude, I, I would be all about it. I think if there was one character I could bring in, it would be, it would be Johnny. So we'll, we'll have to wait and see on that. We can't uh, go too far with it, of course, due to contractual obligations, we'll just say. <laughs> right? you know, I, 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 for me, you know, I always wish them the best. You know, it's, it's especially nowadays, you know, it's just – I think at the end of the day, if they, they're able to get something going with it, it, it's tremendous for the actors, you know, and I know like Mario has been doing really well. It's going to be nice to see him and Elizabeth's a doll. Like she's such a sweetheart. She, yeah. She's a really, really cool person. So I'm really happy for her. Um, yeah. And I do, I wish them the best. I hope, I hope like, I know a lot of productions. I was, I was working on another show and literally they had one week left of filming for their season and they had to stop. <laughs> oh, it, was like, it was crazy not not yeah. even just filming wise but there's a lot of you know just post-production work i think a show like cobra kai uh, which is tremendous i don't know if you've seen cobra kai I it's, haven't it, heard. it's awesome it's amazing and the season three they were like oh well we've shot it all we're done we just oh we have a lot of uh, you know post-production editing to do it's like oh we just we can't we're at it's it's on the shelf for now and they're just like ah like i can't handle yeah. it <laughs> yeah i know that happened with walking dead too i'm like watching it i was like where's the season finale? And then I read, they like, they didn't finish it. They, wow. were, they were doing post stuff and I'm sure they, they probably had things they wanted to either add or reshoot or something, yeah. but they didn't finish it. And I was like, huh. <laughs> well, we need to get away from this and back to just some level of normalcy, Eddie. Hopefully we can get there here sooner than later. We're all in this together, right? United we fight. It's true. <laughs> and I really do. I think, you know, at the end of the day, we just saw, we always have to remember, you know, we're pretty, we're, I still feel pretty blessed, even though like I'm a teaching on my porch, you know, and, <laughs> and I, I, the fact that I get to still connect with the kids that I teach, you know, that's been tremendous lift. You know, they, I tell them every time I teach a class, I'm like, you're making my day. 
you know, I know it may feel different to you, but you yeah. you made my day today. You know, my kids were like dancing up a storm yesterday. You know, I got another, I'm working with a couple little gals uh, right after this interview. We have a wow. private, they're sweethearts. They just, they work so hard and they're eight and 10, you know, I'm like, <laughs> like, it's pretty amazing. I'm like, wow, you know, I don't know how you're doing this, but the way you're doing it, it's pretty cool. Well, yeah, it's, it's crazy through Zoom to be able to do that and not lose the progress you guys have made to be able to continue that and keep teaching and uh, keep them fresh with it. Yeah. yeah, I mean, it's been crazy because we were prepping, I mean, we were prepping a recital show. So those kids have been learning a recital dance for me because we don't know when we're going to do it. But yeah. they're like, we don't even, I like, I don't even know, you know, six months from now, which kids are going to, I may have a new group of kids join that class and we have to catch them up. So, but they're trying and that's, that's all I can ask. You know, they're, they're working really hard to get it, try to get it done. Absolutely. I'm so glad that things are worked out, working out for you in that capacity. Eddie, hopefully the summer camp is able to happen this year and we just hope all the best and we can't thank you enough for jumping on and doing this with us again, my friend. It's a true pleasure, man. Thank you so much. Thank you guys. I really appreciate it. You bet. We'll catch up soon. So gracious with your time. Thanks so much. Thank you. Stay healthy. Yep. You too. Bye. Bye. (laughs) 